Let us pray. O oh, holy God, early in the morning you made life and you created all that is. You birthed all that we know. Early in the morning when the world least expected it, a newborn child in a cradle announced that you had come to be one amongst us. Early in the morning on Friday, surrounded by respectable liars and religious leaders and anxious statesmen and silent friends, you accepted their punishment for doing good and bringing love. And you shouldered and suffered the cross. Early in the morning, your voice called her name and your footsteps in the dew proved that you had risen. You had come back to heal and forgive us. And so this day, your church gathers early in the morning, scattered in homes around the world, and we celebrate your life, your death, and your resurrection. Oh Lord, forgive our sins. Bring healing to all those who are ill. Pour your blessing and your strength on those who are caring for others, putting their own lives at risk. Calm those of us who are anxious about the future. For those who worry about jobs and income and bills and pensions. And in the midst of this pandemic, oh God, give us some joy and some laughter. Show us the beauty that is still around us. Come and comfort all those who are mourning, especially those who have to delay services of their loved ones and bring us together, O oh God, even while we're separated. We pray that you would bless our leaders here and abroad and that you would reteach us how very connected we are to one another all the way around the globe. Come, O oh God, and open our ears to hear your voice. Open our eyes to recognize your presence. Open our hearts that we might love as you loved. Open our hands that we might lend a hand to neighbors in need. Open our minds that we might be creative in figuring out how to reach out with healing and hope in this situation. Come and open our souls that we grow ever more into your likeness. As Jesus first taught us, so now we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.